Hi everyone, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton and we wanted to talk about Emotional Support Animals or for short ESA. And the reason why I'm doing yet another video on ESA is because there's so many common questions that come back all the time. But if you haven't seen our previous videos regarding ESAs, I will link it all here. I've made a playlist so it's easier for you to go through all those videos. So basically, Herc oh, and by the way, before we start, if you like this t-shirt, it's our Cabin Pocket t-shirt. It's one of our best-selling t-shirts yet on the boutique and if you want to check it out, it's Cavology.com and I will link a link in the description box below for you to check it out. So let's get started. Just so you're aware of our situation, Herky and Milton are emotional support animals and we live in a condo building that is pet friendly so our emotional support animal letter does not involve housing it only involves travels the reason why they're ESA for me for flying is kind of a personal reason I don't do well with flying and traveling in general and uh, that's why I require them to fly with me yes they are big enough to fit in a carrier and we could do that but this is just a personal reason for me to want them as emotional support animals and travel right with me on my lap and not in a carrier. Okay, so one thing you should know about emotional support animals is that it's not widely spread in all countries. It's most common in the US and in Canada. In the US, it can be applied for housing and for travel, but in Canada, it's usually more for travels. So we always fly with Hurricane and Milton with Air Canada, and they accept emotional support animals in Canada. So you should always check with your country to see if this is something even eligible. I know in the US, it is eligible. So if you are looking to not be denied travel, with your pet or not being denied accommodation because you have a pet, then you are in your rights if you have a disability. So the most common question we get is where do you get your dogs registered? And I would repeat it again and again, those websites that you see online that tell you to register your pet as emotional support are scams. You do not need to register your dog to be an emotional support animal. All you need is a letter from a registered therapist, a physician, a, a mental health specialist, anybody that has the credentials to write that letter for you, that letter will suffice. So you don't need any website to register, you don't need even the vest that says emotional support animal, you don't need anything that says emotional support on it. All you need is a letter from a physician. I got my letter personally from my family doctor and that's because I feel comfortable with my family doctor for her to uh, prescribe me that letter and to follow up with me on a regular basis. If you don't have access to a doctor, I did find this amazing clinic that offers consultations online. And I will link it down below for you, but it's myesadoctor.com. They are registered therapists and they do online consultations. You will not be able to get a letter without a consultation. So that is how um, you will be able to get yours is by consulting with a therapist. And this website, you basically sign up and you will be able to get a virtual consultation with a therapist and then get your letter if you are eligible for one. So there's no such thing as a pre-approval. You really do need to get a real consultation with a therapist before you get your letter. Now I'm talking about the US, but with that letter, you would be able to find some housing that don't otherwise let you stay with your pet. But all this given that you do have a disability and you do have a need for your pet. And this is all up to the therapist to determine whether you do or not. With that letter, you can also uh, fly with them. You can also take the train or whatever. The next common comment that we get all the time is that my dogs are not trained to be service dogs. And no, they're not service dogs because service dogs and emotional support animals are two completely different things. Service dogs are trained to detect something and, to, and they're trained to practice and to do a certain task for you. For example, if you have a physical disability, they're trained to lead you somewhere. If you have a medical condition, they can alert you of that medical condition. For example, strokes or diabetes, these dogs can detect that and will alert you. They are trained to perform a certain task in that situation. Emotional support animals don't have to be trained. They just have to be like well behaved in general, but they, they don't have to be trained to do a certain thing because they are just there for me for emotional support. They're not there to provide a service. So again, to all those people that leave like negative comments saying that my dogs are misbehaved or that I don't need these dogs, like please leave those comments to yourself because you don't know me personally, you don't know 
uh, what my dogs are like and it's very easy to judge behind the screen but this is something very personal that I'm dealing with and this is something that I need and please if you don't know me personally then don't judge. Just to recap, you do not need to register your pet as an emotional support. Uh, you just need a letter from a physician. So I would recommend either going to your family doctor, your registered therapist, or if you don't have one, then I'm going to refer you to this online clinic that I found. It's myesadoctor.com. I will link the link in the description box below for you and also leave it here. But basically, this gives you access to uh, a physician and a therapist if you don't have access to one and they can evaluate your needs for an ESA. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will do my best to answer everything I can. Again, I cannot give you an opinion on whether or not you would be eligible to get an ESA, only a therapist would so um, although I do appreciate all the comments and feedback I can't tell you if you are eligible or not so my best bet would be to consult with uh, a therapist <laughs> so thank you so much for watching guys I really appreciate it if you're new to our channel welcome don't forget to subscribe thumbs up this video and ring that notification bell we love you so much and we'll see you soon bye